Travel Like Birds of a Feather presents our favorite U.S. national parks for fall. We have included when to go, but if you would like more accurate predictions, follow this fall foliage map by SmokyMountains.com to help plan your trip. We will mention the price of getting into each one of these national parks. There is America the Beautiful Pass, which is $80 per year. It gets you into every U.S. national park, forests, monuments, and more than 2,000 other places. It is well worth the price if you go to more than one national park within the year. For more information, visit this website. Like, subscribe, and click the bell. Let's begin with Zion National Park. It is located in southwest Utah and is one of five national parks in Utah. Zion in fall time is around 40 degrees to 70 degrees Fahrenheit compared to summer months which are over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Entrance fee is $30 per vehicle. The Zion shuttle runs every day. We will link the shuttle schedule on the screen. Zion Canyon will be shut to all personal vehicles, so definitely check out the shuttle. Even in early fall, be aware of potential flash floods at Zion. Make sure to pack layers because morning and evenings can be chilly. Zion Canyon, Highway 9, Kolob Terrace, and Kolob Canyon are all great places covered in fall colors. Although it isn't summer, Zion still is the most visited national park in Utah, and this is a popular time for the weather and colors. Make sure to go early to trails. Colors begin in September with higher elevation trees peaking in mid-October. But the most amazing colors come late October into November. Great hikes are Watchman Trail, Cable Mountain, the Narrows, and Notorious Angels Landing, which will be much less crowded during the season. Angels Landing will need a permit as of April 1st, 2022. Also, drive along Zion Mount Carmel Highway and the Zion Canyon Scenic Drive. Join a Zion Sunset Jeep Tour or UTV Tour to a slot canyon nearby. You can also take a tour to see the night sky since Zion is an excellent place to stargaze. Next, Shenandoah National Park is located in Virginia and is a stunning location for fall foliage. The leaves begin to change early October and normally are bare by the end of October. A great place to see the fall colors is by driving down Skyline Drive which is a 105 mile road that goes throughout the park. The great part is it has around 75 overlooks. A strategy for the overlooks is to pick a few east facing and a few west facing. Try not to stop at every overlook. Traffic is normally pretty heavy, so come prepared and don't be in a rush. Some of the best overlooks west facing are Jewel Hallow, Stony Man, and The Point. Our favorite east facing are Old Rag, Tunnel, Thoroughfare Mountain, and Pinnacles Overlooks. Charlottesville and Harrisonburg are both bigger towns that are near the park. Since it does get very crowded, we suggest to visit during the weekdays or book things far in advance. A few options for staying the night are Big Meadows Lodge and Skyland Lodge. Both have wonderful dining rooms with lovely views. Try to time your eating on the off times of the day. You are more likely to get a window seat. Also, there are cabins to rent and campgrounds you can get a permit for. A treat to try in town is the Blackberry Ice Cream Pie. You won't want to miss out. A few hikes we recommend are Crescent Rock Outlook with a 0.8 mile round trip to Betty's Rock, Little Stony Man Overlook, a 0.9 mile round trip hike, also 1.6 mile round trip Stony Man Summit 
with gorgeous panoramic views. A more challenging hike is Bear Fence Mountain. Next, Grand Teton National Park. It is located in western Wyoming. It looks like a masterpiece painting any season of the year, but there is a certain charm about the Tetons stacked so high surrounded with colors changing on the trees in fall. Even USA Today called it one of the top 10 spots for great leaf peeping. The wonderful bonus is the crowds have dispersed, so you remain with the locals and the animals. Best time to see the foliage is late September through early October. Locations we think are best to see autumn colors are Willow Flats, Pilgrim Creek Road, Gross Venture Road, North Section of Jackson Lake, Two Oceans Lake Road, and Oxbow Bend. We highly recommend a wildlife tour so you can learn about the animals you see. The naturalists on the tour that take you around are very knowledgeable about the land, wildlife, and can answer any of your questions. We highly recommend brush books and scenic safaris. Other great ways to enjoy the views are by biking and hiking. For bikers to enter the park is $20, which is good for seven days. Here are some bike rentals in the area. There are 65 miles of pathways within Teton County for biking. We highly recommend the path between Moose Junction to the shores of Lake Jenny. It's about 12 miles. It is a breathtaking journey. Great easier hikes we recommend are Inspiration Point and Hidden Falls, Woodland Trail Loop, and Phelps Lake Overlook. We want to stress the importance of being bear aware. Stay at least 100 yards from bears and wolves. Both black and grizzly bears can be dangerous. Always hike in groups or with a friend. Make noise while you're on the trails and carry bear spray. They are especially dangerous in the fall because they are preparing for hibernation so they eat around 20,000 calories a day in preparation for winter season. Great Smoky Mountains. This wonderful national park is the most visited in the United States. Stretching 500,000 acres across portions of North Carolina and Tennessee. The park has hills cascading with trees and in fall time it is flaming with red, orange, and yellow. Farmer's Almanac predicts the colors will peak from October 12th through the 28th. Places for the best foliage are the Blue Ridge Parkway, Cades Cove, Newfound Gap Ridge, and Roaring Fork. Hikes not to miss are Clingman's Dome and Trail to Chimney Tops. Another great way to see the trees is to rent a cabin with epic views so you can relax on your balcony with a warm beverage. There are no cabins to rent within the park. Here are some great options to check out. Some festivals that are a great time for the season are Dollywood Harvest Festival, September 23rd through October 29th, Gatlinburg Craftsman Fair, October 13th through the 30th. More details on this website. North Cascades National Park. This national park is located in northern Washington state. Best time to see color is early to mid-October. A wonderful view is a drive along the North Cascades Highway to see color among Mother Nature. Great fall hikes are Trapper's Peak, Blue Lake, and Heather Maple Pass Loop. This park is definitely a tinted camp vibe. There are many campgrounds and we recommend to get your permits. If you aren't the camping type, there are also hotels such as Ross Lake Resort, North Cascades Lodge, and Sun Mountain Lodge if you have kids. Next, Yosemite is in California's Sierra Nevada mountains and is known for its huge ancient sequoia trees. 
This national park is very crowded during the summer months, but once fall comes, it's quiet and you can find solitude. Best time to see the colors are from late September into early October. Yosemite is known for their hiking trails. Easier hikes are Cook's Meadow Loop or the Mirror Lake Loop. More strenuous options are Four Mile Trail, Vernal Fall, and Nevada Fall Trails. Other great places in the park are Taft Point, Tunnel View, Glacier Point, Valley View, and Centennial Bridge. Yosemite Valley, Hetch Hetchy, Yosemite Falls, and Marisposa Grove. Finally, drive to Glacier Point, which is 3,200 feet above Curry Village, and the view stretches around 7,214 feet. Great places to stay are, for families, Yosemite Valley Lodge, Curry Village for a budget-friendly option, Wawano Hotel, and Awani, known for its classic, elegant charm. Denali National Park. This national park is located in Alaska. Between beginning of August until end of September, Denali leaves begin to change into deep amber, red, and orange hues. During this time, crowds of people diminish and there's snow on peaks. The days become shorter, which is great because there are more opportunity to catch views of the northern lights. Animals in the park are foraging for food during this time, getting ready for the frigid winter months ahead. Best ways to see the brilliant colors are by taking a park bus throughout the park or driving the Denali Highway. Here is a website for more information. Our fall travel essentials are guidebooks, books for leisure, warm cozy sweaters, scarves and throws, luggage, hiking boots, cameras, drones, and more. Links are in the description. Acadia National Park. New England is well known around the world for its autumn foliage. Out of all the states in New England, Maine is the largest and least populated. Acadia National Park gets crowds from cruise passengers visiting from Bar Harbor Port, but there is plenty of room for everyone. The fee to get in per vehicle is $30 and is valid for seven days. There are around 158 miles of hiking trails in the park. Here are a few we recommend for fall. The Beehive Loop Trail, which has incredible panoramic views, but is not for the faint of heart. You have to go across boulders, climb up metal ladders, and hang on to cliffs while you walk the narrow walkways. The other one is Precipice Trail, which is even more challenging than the Beehive. We advise not to go when it is raining. The ladders and handholds get very slippery and the ledges become slick and dangerous. Other great hikes are to Bubble Rock Overlooks. Cadillac Mountain is a main location that visitors want to see. It is 1,500 feet tall before you Take the Cadillac Summit Road, which goes directly to the top, where you see panoramic views of the Atlantic Ocean and the islands off the coast. You must buy a ticket for a specific time you will be there. 30% of the tickets are released 90 days in advance, and 70% two days in advance. Between October through March, Cadillac Mountain Sunrise is the first in the U.S., Sunrise times tend to sell out the fastest. Here is the website. Another drive that is wonderful is the Park Loop Road with stops such as Sand Beach, Otter Cliff, Jordan Pond, and Thunder Hole. A great way to see the park as well is by boat. Check out this website. Finally, visit Bar Harbor close to the entrance of Acadia. It is a charming coastal town. Make sure to eat some lobster as well. The fall season coincides with lobster season. A treasure is trying the lobster rolls, especially at Side Street Cafe. Fresh and yummy. In town, there even is lobster ice cream at Ben and Bill's Chocolate Emporium. Next, Glacier National Park. 
It is located in Montana's Rocky Mountains. Best time to see the colors is mid-September to early October. The backdrop of snow-capped peaks with blue skies and the dusting of autumn colors across the trees is a magical sight. The temperature is cool and refreshing and there are much fewer crowds. You have 1 million acres to see jaw-dropping views. Entrance fee is $30 per vehicle, $35 in the summer. Here are some places to check out. First, drive or if you are adventurous, bike the Going to the Sun Road. This iconic road is 50 miles from West Glacier to St. Mary, stretching across the park, reaching 6,646 feet, and even crosses the Continental Divide at Logan's Pass. Glacier National Park has over 734 miles of hiking trails. Some of the best are Bering Falls, Red Rock Falls, St. Mary and Virginia Falls, Trail of the Cedars, Crater Lake, Highline Trail, Pitam Mackin Pass, and Dawson Pass, and Swift Current Pass. You can enjoy the park by horseback as well. Check out Swan Mountain Outfitters for more information. Finally, you can take a boat tour or guided fly fishing trip on the Flathead River as well, which gives you time with the pristine water all around you. Check out Glacier Park Boat Company. A great way to save money when you buy travel on websites like Expedia, Travelocity, and TripAdvisor, along with 3,500 retail shopping stores, is to join for free Rakuten. It is simple, you get cash back on your purchases. It is absolutely free to sign up as a member. In the description is a link to sign up. You will love getting money back. And finally, Rocky Mountain National Park. You will be surrounded with beautiful, brilliant colored aspen trees in this park. This national park is located in Colorado, approximately 55 miles northwest from Denver. Best time to see the colors is September. This is a great place to be amongst wildlife such as bugling elk, bear, and many others. Best places to see fall color on the east side of the park is Hidden Valley, Twin Sisters, Drive Bear Lake Road, then Bear Lake Loop is a 0.8 miles hike around the lake. It looks like a painting with the reflection of the trees on the water. Absolutely beautiful. One of the most popular hikes is Glacier Gorge Trail up to Alberta Falls, which many think is the best waterfall in the park. It is 1.7 miles with 200 feet elevation gain, and you are surrounded with golden trees and mountain peaks while you pass a rushing creek. On the west side, visit Kawanichi Valley and Fairview Curve. Great hikes are Upper Beaver Meadows Loop, Wild Basin Trail, Alpine Ridge Trail, and Sprague Lake. Thank you for watching. If you would like us to custom design an itinerary for you, email us at travellikebirdsofafeather at gmail.com. Like, subscribe, and click the bell.